Yajong and hello to each and every one of you. Today I wanted to show you how to make my top six favorite pepper dips to make for a summer barbecue or any time of the year. And in the Hmong culture, you can typically find a lot of Hmong people eat pepper dips as a condiment to pair it with their rice, their grilled meat, boiled soup, vegetables, pretty much everything. And we especially love it for all of our meals. It is the number one most requested condiment to have on our dinner table. A meal is not complete without a side of pepper dip. And there's so many different varieties of pepper dips out there, but today I just wanted to show you six of my favorite ones that I love to make. I already made videos of these, but I thought it would be nice to combine all of these together so that you can have this one video for reference and have it easier for you to hopefully make it for yourself. Now pepper dips are really easy to make as long as you have all the ingredients and equipments to do so. So with that being said, let's just get to it and I will show you my top six favorite pepper dips to make. Let's go. So the first one we're going to make is the classic Hmong pepper dip that we love to eat for almost pretty much everything. In mortar and pestle, we're going to add in about 10 to 12 chili peppers. I'm using frozen peppers because they're a lot easier to pound. One clove of garlic some mushroom seasoning, salt, and then we're gonna pound it until it is completely all mashed up. Go ahead and scrape all the peppers and place it into a bowl. And then we're gonna add in some fresh lime juice. Give that a good mix. Some fish sauce, and fresh cilantro and green onions to taste. Give that a really good stir, taste it for seasoning. If you want more sourness, go ahead and add that in there as well. Other than that, this pepper dip is all done. Very, very simple, but very delicious for any type of barbecue meat. I love to eat it with pork, chicken, and any type of boiled meat. So the next one we're gonna make is a mint pepper dip. And this pepper dip is amazing to have on a nice summer day. So in a mortar and pestle, we're gonna add in some chili peppers. If you want it more spicy, feel free to add more or less depending on your spice level. We're gonna add in one clove of garlic, some salt, mushroom seasoning, and then we're gonna pound that again until it is completely all mashed up. And then we're gonna add in about one to one and a half cups of chopped fresh mint. And a cup of chopped cilantro. And green onions. Give it a really good pound until all the herbs are nice and wilted and pretty much reduced half in size. Now we're gonna place this in a bowl. And we're gonna finish this off with some fish sauce. Give that a really good mix and then just taste it for seasoning. And the mint pepper dip is pretty much done. This one is amazing with poached chicken. I love it with poached chicken. It's also great with any type of grilled meat. It's also great on fried chicken as well. The next one is a Thai dipping sauce that goes amazing with steak. So in a bowl, we're gonna add in some dried chili flakes. You can use as much or as little as you want. Some finely crushed palm sugar. Mushroom seasoning, this is totally optional. You don't have to add this in there if you don't want that umami. Some fresh lime juice. Tamarind concentrate. And you can totally make this yourself or buy the store-bought one as well. I just use the store-bought one for ease. I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to help dilute it. Some fish sauce and finely chopped shallots. We're also gonna add in some fresh cilantro and a little bit of green onions. And the most important ingredient is some finely ground 
toasted rice. And toasted rice is really easy to make. Just take about two tablespoons of jasmine rice and toast it in a pan until it's nice and golden brown and then just grind it up until it's really fine like this. Give this a really good stir and then try it for sourness, for sweetness, for spiciness and this dip is pretty much done. Now I love to enjoy this with barbecue meat but it is amazing with grilled steak. A lot of Thai people love this pepper dip with grilled steak. It's just a really great combo. Other than that, this dip is pretty much done. The next one I'm going to show you is a roasted onion pepper dip. And this is probably my dad's favorite pepper dip to enjoy. So here I have one white onion that I chopped as well as about four to five shallots that I've chopped as well. I have about three chili peppers that I'm using and three garlic clove. In a baking sheet lined with foil, just add in the onions and the garlic and chili peppers. We're gonna place this in the oven and let it boil at 450 for about 10 to 15 minutes until the onions are nice and charred like this. You wanna give it a really good color just for flavor. Um, if you notice that the peppers are browning a little bit too quickly, go ahead and remove that and continue cooking the onions and the garlic. Other than that, it should look like this and have a little bit of coloring to it. In a mortar and pestle, we're gonna add in the chilies, the roasted garlic, a little bit of salt and then give that a really good pound until it is completely mashed up and add in all of the roasted onions and we're going to add in some fresh cilantro and green onions and give this a really good pound until the herbs are nice and wilted And it should look like this. Now we're going to place this into a bowl. And we're going to finish this off with some fish sauce. Give it a really good stir and then this pepper dip is done. Now this pepper dip is amazing with poached chicken. You can also eat it with some fried chicken. I really enjoy it with fried chicken, but any type of barbecue meat works for this pepper dip as well. You can also eat it as is with some rice or sticky rice. The next one I'm gonna show you is a mushroom pepper dip. And you can use any type of mushrooms. Today I'm going to be using cremini mushrooms. I did show you how to make one with just white button mushrooms, but today I'm using cremini mushrooms. I have about two to three shallots that I chopped as well, and two garlic cloves. Before we start, go ahead and cut the mushrooms a lot smaller. I'm just using my food processor to finally chop it. It's a lot easier this way, but you can just use a knife and chop it smaller. In a baking sheet lined with foil, just go ahead and add in all of the chopped mushrooms. Spread it out evenly. And add in the garlic and shallots. We're gonna cook this in the oven under broil at 450 for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. And it should look like this. So I did cook this for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. In a mortar and pestle, go ahead and add in the garlic. And I'm using two chili peppers today. You can definitely add more if you want. Add in some salt. And go ahead and pound this until it is completely mashed up. And then add in all of the roasted mushrooms and shallots. Season it with a little bit of fish sauce. I'm gonna add in some fresh chopped green onions and cilantro. And then we're gonna pound this until it is nice and incorporated. And this pepper dip is done. So this pepper dip is actually very, very delicious. 
as is. My mom loves to eat this with just rice because there's so much flavor in the mushrooms. But you can definitely eat mushroom pepper dip with any type of meat as well. And the very last one that I'm going to show you all is a tomato pepper dip. And this is a super refreshing one to make for the summertime. So here I have a variety of different cherry tomatoes. And I prefer to use cherry tomatoes just because they're a lot sweeter and they just bring out more flavor. So before we start mixing, just go ahead and chop the cherry tomatoes a little bit smaller so it's easier to eat. I'm just cutting them in half. And then we're going to place it into a bowl. Season it with a little bit of salt and about one or two finely minced up chili peppers. I'm going to season it with some fish sauce and some chopped cilantro and green onions. Go ahead and give this a really good mix and taste it for seasoning. If you want this to be a little bit more spicier, a little bit more saltier, go ahead and add that in there as well. If you want this to be a little bit more sour, you can definitely add a little bit of lime juice in here as well. Other than that, this tomato pepper is done. It is amazing and super refreshing to have for a summer barbecue. This one goes great with any type of protein, but I prefer to eat it with barbecue meat. And there we have it, six of my favorite pepper dips to make and have all year round or for a summer barbecue. So I hope you all can give one of these pepper dips a try. If you have made or eaten pepper dips before, do let me know which one is your favorite and what kind you love to make. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Dad, which one did which one did you choose, Dad? Okay, focus. Why don't you guys? Uh, oh, go this one and this one. This one and this one. We'll, we'll go for that later. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Uncle, which one are you gonna choose? I'm choosing the peppermint. Mint pepper. For now, and then I'll, I'll get some uh, mushrooms too. <laughs>